The 2012 hurricane season is here. SNN Local News 6 Chief Meteorologist Justin Mosley joins us now. And in fact, you just returned from the National Hurricane Center in Miami. That's right. And the experts down there tell me that we cannot let our guard down. Last year, we saw one of the most active hurricane seasons on record, which included Hurricane Irene, a Category 2 storm that hit the big cities in the Northeast. This year, predictions call for a normal season, including 9 to 15 named storms and 4 to 8 hurricanes. Despite the predictions of an average or even below average season, devastating storms can still occur. Hurricane Andrew struck this city 20 years ago. We're here in Miami speaking with experts on the changes in forecasting from then until now. A lot of advancement in predicting hurricanes has taken place in the past two decades. Senior hurricane specialist Richard Pash says he has seen a lot of improvement in the forecast models that are used today. Our global models have gotten uh, much better in, in those two decades. Uh, it's attributable to uh, better science and numerical weather prediction, but also better observations. Observations are a key part of forecasting, and that is where the hurricane hunters play a major role. The planes and the crews are now better equipped with instruments to measure surface winds, such as the new Stepped Frequency Microwave Radiometer, or SFMR. It is proven to be a major asset to forecasters. The instrument's not perfect, but it's certainly given us a lot more uh, information on the strength of the surface winds and hurricanes. With the science continuing to advance, forecasters see improved accuracy with where the storms are heading. They now have better data for model guidance that directly impacts the cone of uncertainty. The decrease in that cone is, is directly related to the uh, decrease in the track forecast error, which is the uh, difference from between where we predict the storm to be at a certain time range and where it actually turns out. Scientists continue to strive for a more accurate forecast. This gives you, along with emergency managers and business owners, more reliable information for decision making and most importantly, preparation. Be sure to join us for the rest of our hurricane series every day this week.